Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in El Paso, Texas, where dumbass Elmo tries to get into a police academy, but winds up getting shown the door and, well, completely butthurt about it, too, of course. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching dumbass Elmo make a complete fool out of himself for our entertainment. What's going on, guys? Auditing America. I'm out with Chase from the Allen Report. And we're at the Sheriff's Academy. We're going to ask a few questions in here about the Constitution. We're going to see if they respect our right to video record. Yes, sir. About the First Amendment. This is the right place. Can you tell us what classroom do you guys get to teach the First you know Amendment? I just got here, man, on my lunch, so... Um, How much training do you get on freedom of speech or uh, freedom of the press? Well, you know what? Uh, for me, let just me, real quick, just real quick. Agent, hey, how you doing? Good. How much training does uh, does the sheriff's academy give on the constitution, sir? Oh, it varies. So, depending on um, how can I call it, uh, they're training to be detention officers or peace officers. Peace officers get about seven hundred and twenty hours that the state requires. What we do about a thousand twenty. Ask Elmo, uh, I don't think you've got that many hours of uh, education in the uh, Constitution because, well, you haven't even made it past the Fifth Amendment, really. And every other thing you spout out about the Constitution, you seem to know little to nothing about what the Constitution actually says on anything. Do you even know what the Tenth Amendment is? Or uh, do you know anything about the seven articles that make up the Constitution and what they are all about? Uh, probably not because you haven't actually studied it. For detention officers, it's an eight-week academy, so it, it depends. Do you think police officers um, or sheriff's deputies, uh, do, do you think it would be better if everybody went to uh, law school? Because I mean, it varies because law school is for attorneys. Where yeah, but enforcing the laws, the more protected individuals have been arrested for violating the laws. But if they're enforcing the law, you know, they, they should at least go to law school, so right? Don't you think? To the headquarters. I are you are you a teacher here? An instructor. Instructor, okay. Yeah. And your name? Deputy Avila. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hi, how are you? Good and you? Good. Do you work here? You're looking Hello. for me? I'm yeah. the training director. I'm not looking for you, but I, <laughs> I. Well, they said you were looking for me, so. Okay, well that's good. Um, I, I was asking him about how much training do you guys give on on the Constitution? Dumbass Elmo, do you know anything at all? Uh, yeah, because if you did, you know that question you asked would be uh, totally insanely stupid. If you're going to go to law school, uh, you become a lawyer. If you want to become a police officer and enforce the laws, you go to a police academy. One thing, do you know how insanely expensive it is to get into a university to even study law or any other subject for that matter? It is quite a pretty penny. I mean, it could cost uh, at least $10,000 or more uh, for a bachelor's degree and it only goes up from there not to mention the admission standards for any university I mean you first got to be able to uh, get in which getting in is a task all on its own but let's go ahead and carry on because I am not going to explain how to get into university to this dumbass because he is not university material. We have uh, uh, a lot of videos on the internet about police officers and sheriff deputies uh, who disrespect uh, our freedom of the press as citizens. Um, I was here yesterday and I was assaulted by a sheriff who got cited at the jail. Uh, he, he got cited for assault yesterday for video recording a sheriff. Yeah. Uh, did you hear well, about I, that? I, I heard it by word of mouth, but I wasn't sure exactly. So I just talked to the patrol sergeant. If you want to talk to him, because this is the training academy, we do have pre-entry level people applicants applying. 
So right now we're busy. So if you do want to talk to me, you can head over to Sergeant Chavez. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to take much of your time. We're doing some testing right now. So oh no, I. I, I have to tell him to wait so we can come talk to him. Well, I appreciate it. What's your name? Lieutenant Galindo, thank you very much. I appreciate you being nice and Deputy, Deb Deputy Avila. I appreciate it. You guys can continue. I'll, I'll yeah, I just need you guys to escort because right now, if you have no business here, you guys can go to the substation and I can walk you guys over. Oh no, he didn't. I know he didn't tell dumbass Elmo that he had to leave the building. Dumbass Elmo never leaves a building until dumbass Elmo says so. Well, not really. I guess that would be the outcome in his own mind, but in reality, he gets kicked out of buildings all the damn time. If you want. But well, we do we, we do have business here. We're working on a story about this place. So, once again, I need you out of here. Cause you see, that's business. my whole, that's my whole point. Let's go. Uh, you're going to violate my, my, I'm not gonna violate this is a rights. public building. You can know. Yeah. This is a public that's building. Let's Don't go. touch me. All right, go outside. Don't touch me. I'm walking. Don't touch Watch me. Yourself. You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. Yeah. I'm gonna go complain right now That's to right. Internal Affairs. Definitely. You don't have you don't have this right. Yes, I do. You're interfering with our rights. That's why we're here. You guys can trample on our rights all the time. You trample on our rights all the time. What did they say? Wow. You have no business here. So let's go back to Internal Affairs. Let's call it. Let's talk to that guy and let's have them and let's come back. Yep. Oh, oh, poor little ass Elmo got kicked right out of the building, and he's gonna go file a little complaint about it. And, but you know what? Nobody really cares, dumbass Elmo, because we all watch your channel, and we know how much of a pain in the ass you are. I'm sure at least half of those hundred million views you've got on YouTube are from people laughing at you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?